Good afternoon from Tad's place here on Negros Oriental in the Philippines. I'm about 40 minutes away from Dumaguete City in a place called Mayaban, Antalang or Zamboanguita. It's not really in any of those places, it's kind of next to all of them. So I found this place on a workaway and basically we're here to dive, interact with some of the locals who come and stay and chill out at this place and kind of do some cultural exchangey stuff. There isn't too much work to do, it's mostly just hanging out and looking after the place and just making sure everyone has a good time and that sort of thing. But I've been here for about 10 days now, so I thought rather than doing a vlog every single day, I would just do one kind of compilation video and show you a little bit about what I've been up to during my time here. It's been really great to get away from the tourist hotspots and the party hostels and the constant drinking and do something with a little bit more meaning, experiencing a little bit more of Filipino lifestyle. Yes, I've been away from home comforts and luxuries I've had no Wi-Fi and no flushing toilets and that sort of thing. Definitely for the rest of my travels I'll be looking at doing some more work away experiences. So it is something I would thoroughly recommend. It's $32 for a year's worth of membership which I think is a bargain. I've saved more than that on accommodation in this one place that I've stayed in so far and I've had a really great time. Guess who forgot the camera when we are having a manual motorbike lesson. Okay. I've been riding plenty of automatic scooters but now I want to learn how to ride a manual motorbike. Bye Jai. At least I learned how to ride a motorbike first. <laughs> We have success, I can now ride a manual motorbike. It took me a few attempts, but now I can do it. Played three games of chess this morning. I'm just to sharpen up the mental, mental exercise, brain training. Day five here at Tad's place and it is another beautiful day. This morning we got up at half past four, believe it or not, which is excruciatingly early for me. But we got to do a dive from the shore and watch the sunrise, which was really, really incredible. learning the guitar. I've been practicing for like two, three hours a day. I still can't do a lot, but I'm sure I'm getting better. I don't know why and I don't know what it's called and I don't know what's in it. But in the Philippines you can get purple bread um, and it is actually really nice. I'm just having a purple bread and peanut butter sandwich. Delicious. Day six here at Tad's place. Today I'm going to get the bus into Dumaguete which is the nearest city. Um, it's about 40 minutes away and it's, it's how far I have to go to go to a cash point because the two nearest towns don't have any cash and they don't always accept foreign cards. And also I'm going to take a trip to the immigration office because the Philippines is going to be longer than a month. It's not long enough to stay here for a month. I've been chilling here for a week. I think I'm going to stay for at least another week. And there's so much more of the Philippines that I want to see so I'm going to have to extend my stay. And I'm going to go do that today. New Summer Rive in Dumaguete City. We are here. Um, vegetarian options still pretty limited if you don't want to pay top dollar. I can get vegetables and pasta but I've had plenty of that um, down by Chad's place. I have managed to find baked beans which I haven't had for months and it is a very English thing so I'm really excited for that. They are Heinz baked beans so fingers crossed they will be as delicious as I'm hoping for. So far Dumaguete has been really kind to us. I bought this funky swanky new hat. It's very camp, I like it a lot. And we went to the immigration office and I had to pay 2,130 pesos to extend my visa for another 29 days. <laughs> ba -la 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 -la. Fun fact, Christmas here in the Philippines, whoa, this tree is huge. <laughs> Christmas here in the Philippines starts in September and goes on right till the end of January. So it really is like half a year almost that it is going on here. So for an English person, that's crazy weird because if you play a Christmas song or have a Christmas decoration up before December, people hate you. 
So I am here at Sons Rival, Sons Rival, Sons Rival, I don't know. One of those uh, is a bakery and someone messaged me on Instagram recommending the baked goods and cheesecake and stuff like that here. So I'm excited to try it out because I've heard it's pretty famous and it's really, really highly rated on TripAdvisor. So let's give it a go. These cakes look absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Mocha crunch, yum. I am dying. Carrot cake, my favorite of all time. Lemon lime cheesecake, butterscotch marble cake, and salted caramel cheesecake. How am I supposed to decide what I want? I'm in heaven slash hell right now. <laughs> So this is fresh homemade calamansi juice and a butterscotch marble cake. Calamansi juice is a product local to the Philippines. A calamansi is kind of like a lime, kind of like a little lemon. It's green and it's small and it's round. It's brilliant. Samantha and I just did some snack shopping. Um, we got some biscuits and crisps and nuts and stuff for the guys back home. And now we are just going to go pick up our bag of donuts, which we had to check in before heading into the grocery store because there's all kinds of security warnings and stuff everywhere. But there's nothing to fear in the Philippines. It's very safe, it's very relaxed, it's very calm. But their security is tight everywhere. It's my one week anniversary here at Tad's place. And today we're having a little bit of drama in that the electricity in the whole area has gone out. We have no running water today. We've run out of gas and we've run out of drinking water. So it is a little bit dramatic, but I'm thinking we're, we're sorting through the problems. Just worked out how to get the generator on. So we've got a little bit of electricity now, but we're not sure about how we're gonna sort out the rest of the stuff right now. Hello guys. Hi, where are you up to? What you doing? What you doing, girl? Mm. This is a Filipino style dirty kitchen is what they call it. No fridge, so all the ingredients are just kind of kept out. You can only buy stuff that you're gonna eat in the next couple of days. And you only have a hub, no oven or anything like that. So you gotta get creative with what you're gonna cook. It's such a beautiful day. Day eight here at Tad's place. I think it's day eight at least, I don't know. Everyone's a little fragile today because last night it was Saturday which meant it's a drinking day. I haven't had a drink for three weeks because I was really ill while I was in Taiwan and the start of Boracay. So I just laid off the sauce for a little while. Um, so it hit me hard last night. And we were drinking this thing, I, I can't remember what it's called, I'll find out. It was just straight rum basically, but it's kind of like rum mixed with death. It was really, really horrible. So I was drinking a lot of that and yeah, I feel okay, but most people are pretty hungover. We went to a Filipino wedding. We just got kind of invited, kind of gate crashed. I don't really know, but they were happy to have us there. And uh, it was really fun doing the Macarena with the Filipinos because it's the universal language. Everyone knows the Macarena. Tonight is gonna be my last night here at Tad's place. I've had a really fab time, but it's come to an end. This is the longest I've stayed still in two months of traveling. And I've been here for 12 days now, 13 by tomorrow. So it is time that I left. I have to say goodbye. I have other destinations to visit and a lot more of the Philippines to see. It's definitely one of my favorite countries so far. I love it so much here. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All my social media links are down below. And if you did share or subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would be extremely grateful. If you are interested in coming to stay at Tad's place, drop me a message and I will pass over the details because he's always looking for people to come and join in on the fun. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.